to our favorite place. Disney Park Hop and Party. We're here to put a smile upon your face. Disney Park Hop and Party. You'll never know where we're going to be. Disney Park Hop and Party. Hop into the parks of Walt Disney. We're a couple of California gents. So why are we singing with Jamaican accents? It's a Disney, Disney Park Hop and Party. We know we're cool, but we're not blind. Disney. Yes, we are a legend in our own mind. Disney, park up and party. You've hit play, what's done is done. Disney, park up and party. So come along with us and have some fun. Hi, and welcome to another Park Hop and Party. I'm Kilpoy. And as you can see, Electric Mike isn't with me this time because he's at Stage 9 Entertainment Store in Sacramento for a very special interview with a Disney legend, a man who helped put together some of the most popular attractions in Walt's Magic Kingdom, Pirates of the Caribbean and the Haunted Mansion. The man I'm talking about is Xavier Atencio. Here's Electric Mike to talk with him now. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are here today with a Walt Disney Imagineering legend. I'm proud to introduce Francis Xavier Atencio. We'll just call him X, uh, and we'll let him tell you all the stuff that, uh, that he's done to make all the Disney attractions that he's worked on more memorable. And uh, thank you for talking to us, X. It's, it's nice to meet you. My pleasure. Happy to be here. So um, let's go back to the very beginning. Uh, you started with Disney about 1938, is that right? 1938, right out of high school. Right out of high school? I came to California to go to art school and I had one semester of formal training when I was offered a job by Disney Studios and uh, that was the end of my formal training. The rest of it was on the job. Thing. So it was a baptism of fire, huh? Aye, it was. So one of the first things you worked on was Pinocchio, I think, Pinocchio, right? that's right. Uh, I, as an apprentice animator, I worked with Wooly Rodman, one of the grand old animators, and uh, as an uh, in-betweener. And I worked with Wooly for uh, several films. And I, and I grew up into assistant animator, etc. Uh, long about 1952, Walt uh, formed this this little secret organization called Wed Enterprises, and uh, started working on the Disneyland project. And uh, he brought you in a little later. Was it in the 60s? Yeah, that was uh, just about. Uh, well, actually, it was later than that. I think it was uh, 60, 65. He uh, um, called me to his office and said he wanted me to do the script for the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'd never done any scripting before, but uh, uh, I, I said, all right, go well, out, uh, whatever you say. So I got out this, the uh, pictures like uh, uh, Treasure Island and things like that to get the feeling of the, uh, the pirate jargon. Mm -hmm. So then uh, I did the first scene with the, the uh, Auction me, Oh, so you you wrote those words, huh? What be I offered for this winsome wench, yeah. stout-hearted and corn-fed? Hey, uh, the, uh, if I not be sponging for for rum, for rum, it's, it's gold, the gold uh, I'm after. Yeah, yeah. Shift your cargo, dearie. Show him your larboard side. Right. That's... And Walt, uh, Walt liked what you did on that. Yeah, he says, keep going, go ahead. And, uh, wow. So he, uh, you didn't even have any experience being a writer, but he saw that potential in you. Uh, yes, yeah, and uh, and said, "Come on, X, you can you can do this." Yeah. Well, when I finished the script, I uh, our last meeting, I said to Walt, "I said, well, I think maybe we could use a a, a song in this." And I had uh, the lyric in mind, what I wanted to say, in. and uh, kind of a melody. So I half sang and half recited it. Uh -huh. And he said, hey, that's great. Uh, get George to do the music for you. George uh, being uh, George Brunt, uh, musical director. And 
so I got together with George to, to do the, the music, and uh, uh, he was able to, to uh, adapt his thinking of what this melody would be. And, and there you got the yo ho, yo ho, a pirate's life for me. He filled his under a rifle and loot, drink up the hard yo ho. Kidnap and ravage and don't give a hoot. Don't give a hoot. Or, and, uh, I've been singing your words since I was about eight years old. <laughs> <laughs> and and one thing, going back to being eight years old and, and being at Disneyland, um, the thing that I most remembered and took home, you know, memory-wise from the park was that skull up there talking to you. Uh, right before you go down the waterfall. And I just found out not too long ago that th that's your voice. That's my voice, yeah. So I'll bet you got a kick out of doing that. Alas, there, mateys. You come seek an adventure in salty old pirates, eh? Sure, you come to the proper place, no doubt. And we did that, though, as a kind of a warning, uh, going down the ramp to keep your hands inboard, you know. And, and, That'd be the best way to repel borders. Yeah, and that uh, was a successful until just recently when they have done some changes in the ride and uh, uh, and adapted it, adding Johnny Depp uh, in, in the ride as uh, Captain Sparrow, and so they made a few changes, but uh, uh, basically the ride exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think so, and, and the, the meat of what you created is, uh, is still intact, it's, you know, yeah. for, the, for the last 40 years, it's, it's really iconical. So uh, uh, very quickly, we'll, we'll brush over the Haunted Mansion. You also wrote the song Grim Grinning Ghosts for the Haunted Mansion. Yeah, that, right after uh, uh, and, uh, right away, uh, the next project I, I got into was the, the, the Haunted Mansion, and uh, there again, as I say, was, it was the case of putting a song in every every show I had, and I, I did the Grim Grinning Ghost for that. Well, see, that, that says a lot. When Walt didn't want to use the Sherman Brothers, you must have been onto something, and, and he definitely spotted the fact that, that you could hit a homer with this thing. You I know? think so. I, yeah. I, 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 and I think the rest of the, uh, the company, the rest of the gang, and then they made from the... And, uh, the park receptor realized that and, and gave me no trouble. I just kept writing the songs every show. Of it. Well, it, it must be a, a wonderful feeling to know that your creativity 40 years ago has touched millions of lives, created memories for millions of people from little children on up to us <clears throat> old guys. Um, and well, you're not old because you are you are you 87? Is that right? 87. 87. I can't believe you're 87. <laughs> you, this guy's in better shape than I am. <laughs> well, I certainly want to thank you for uh, taking the time to chat. It's been wonderful meeting you and uh, and hearing all the stories about uh, the stuff that you created. It's been a pleasure talking to you. We'll put her there, X. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, there we go. All right. Wow, X is a really interesting guy. He sure is. A very nice man and a Disney legend for sure. And what was up with the uh, the handshake business Oh, going you on? saw that, huh? Yeah, just yeah. didn't stuck. X and I had like a little uh, secret handshake a thing A secret going handshake on. and you told me nothing about it. Wow, um, dude, come on. I'll show, come on, I'll show you. Okay. Sorry. Right. Go like that? Okay, like uh -huh. that. And the second thing is like that. Whoa, then, whoa, whoa. Second thing. What is that? Hmm. Oh, sorry. You know, I... <laughs> It's a little sticky. I had a couple of churros in front of the Haunted Mansion. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, be sure to join us for another Disney Park Hoppin' Party! Mm. Yeah. Dead men eat no churros. <laughs> what? <laughs>
<laughs> How many times have you done this? <laughs> Countless times. Countless times. Drink up with me, honey. Show home. <laughs> <laughs>